Your Excellency, Your Excellency Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, our host, Excellencies, distinguished dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. President, I'm greatly honored. And on behalf of many and my country, I wish to appreciate being the recipient of these highly distinguished medals. Accept, Mr. President, the National Resistance Movement and the people of Uganda, our humble and the deepest gratitude for this recognition of our modest contribution to freedom in Uganda. We were availed the opportunity to participate in the liberation of Uganda, and what we gave can never equal what we gained from this country. These awards are testimony to the enduring links forged by a shared history and common struggle between not only our peoples, but the Africans, and what could be achieved when we stand together in solidarity. In this regard, Mr. President, allow me to dedicate these medals to all Rwandans and Ugandans who committed their lives, with many of them paying the ultimate price to fight for the freedom we all enjoy today. Let me also take this opportunity to congratulate you, Mr. President, the NRM, and the people of Uganda on this historic anniversary of your victory and the tremendous progress you have made and wish all Ugandans increased prosperity. <laughs> Mr. President, Rwandans and Ugandans may live in two countries, but in fact, their lives have always been closely intertwined. And these strong ties are demonstrated by how the people of Uganda led by you, Mr. President, stood by us when the time came for our own struggle. We have faced and overcome many challenges together and put right the wrongs. That was our historic, our historical responsibility as well as duty to the service of humankind. Our efforts are proof that we have it within ourselves and our means to establish peace and democratic 
and good governance for much better lives of our people. If we were ever to fail, we would only have ourselves to blame. For these public goods will never come from outside. Today, Mr. President, the challenge is really about the transformation of our societies. And just as we needed to work together for freedom, so do we have to find more and new energy to drive our countries and move all our people forward. Mr. President, I know that you are a strong advocate of regional integration, larger markets, greater intra-African trade, and adding value to our natural resources. We share this commitment to a process that will give us a bigger and more relevant voice in global affairs. We also share the vision of our continent that should use its enormous assets to improve the living standards of our people. Standing together, as this occasion reminds us, is the only way we can achieve this goal. And so, as we celebrate this victory today, Mr. President, let the medals that have been awarded, badges of courage and honor that they are, spur a new generation to work together even more for the well-being and dignity that our people deserve. When that is done, we can all say with the satisfaction that we did not labor in vain, that the collective sacrifice of our citizens bore wholesome fruit. Once again, Mr. President, the NRM and the people of Uganda I thank you and appreciate this honor that I'm very much aware I share with countless others. Happy victory celebrations and thank you very much. Representatives of the European Union, Excellencies from both sides of Uganda and Rwanda, and the citizens of both countries here present. I wanted to start by Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year of the year 2012. Kangarukemu Mbaramusi Moyena.
bantuma ngumbara musi kandi ngo mbendeze ebiro birungi ya christmas na new year Mr. President, thank you for the invitation for these two important events. One, the opening of this road that uh, joins not only Uganda and Rwanda, but actually connects beyond the two countries to the rest and the wider East African region. The second being the invitation, Mr. President, you extended it to me, and in fact, my family, to visit you, to visit Uganda, and to visit you, and as I will be joining you for these festive days, also be able to maintain it ourselves and make sure that it lasts and it continues to serve us very well. I'm sure we are not expecting that those, and I wish to thank the European Union for availing the resources do the road, I'm sure we will not be going back to make sure that, to them, to make sure that they provide more funds to maintain it. I think we should take that responsibility as well and maintain the road. On the first part, for using the road properly, I think we 
today are setting the exam. We have used the rope. That's why I'm here, coming from Rwanda. using the road to visit Uganda and uh, I'm sure the rest will fall. So the citizens of our two countries are having a good asset in this road which they should put to good use for our social and economic development. Once again, I thank the European Union for supporting us in this endeavor of developing our vital infrastructure. Mr. President, it's my pleasure to be here with you and to continue to join you so that we bring our two countries and our region